The first game of the day was Spurs versus West Ham. It ended 4-1 in favor of Tottenham Hotspur, but it was Mohamed Kudus in the 18th minute who obviously shocked the side of Tottenham Hotspur at the London's uh, sorry, the Tottenham Hotspur stadium was like, oh, this side might obviously come in through and obviously cause a lot of threat to this side. But guess what? It never really went that way. Tottenham Hotspur went ahead, obviously respond, and they found themselves winning this beautiful game of football. Welcome to this channel. This is the United, sorry, this is the Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokan David. Remember, we are powered by Mono Gadgets, dealers in brand new phones and brand new laptops, and continue to obviously um, call them on that number, plus... Two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five. Obviously, see yourself really getting yourself a brand new phone or a brand new laptop. If at all you need a used laptop and a used phone, you can as well call them on that number because they all get those used phones and used laptops from the United Kingdom. So that's what you're really having in through in here onto the Rokani Media Football, and let's get into this beautiful game of football now. It was Mohamed Kudus in the 18th minute. Then, uh, 18 minutes later, Dejan Kulseski went ahead to obviously level up the game, and the first half ended 1-1. Then, 52nd minute, Yefis Besuma went ahead to put Tottenham ahead. Then, Alfonso Areola went ahead to obviously score an own goal, and then Son Hyun Mion in the 60th minute obviously came in through and found himself really scoring that beautiful game of football into the mix. So, Spurs have returned back from the national break with a bang and they're really doing great and they're really putting in a required shift altogether. And these were the match starts of of the day. 22 shots on target. Sorry, 22 shots by Tottenham Hotspur. West Ham had 11. 7 shots on target by Spurs. And, um... West Ham had 4 shots on target, 58% ball position by Spurs, West Ham had 42% ball position, uh, 474 passes completed by Tottenham Hotspur, 355 passes you get completed by West Ham, 86% passing accuracy by the side of Tottenham Hotspur, and then West Ham had... 81% passing accuracy, 10 fouls by the side of Spurs and 15 by the side of Tottenham and by the side of West Ham. One yellow card to Spurs and three yellow cards to the side of um, West Ham. No red cards issued to Tottenham Hotspur and one red card has been issued to Mohamed Kudus. If you know, you know how things are really going to be panning out into the mix. Then... Um, Two offsides to Tottenham Hotspur, and then one offside to the side of West Ham. Then 13 corners by the side of Tottenham Hotspur. Then five corners to the side of West Ham. And they came up and obviously put in the required shift all together, and the game ended 4-1 in favor of no one sorry in favor of Tottenham Hotspur so Spurs came into this game when they're really trying to obviously take on a stretch from a 3-2 defeat uh from Brighton that is the Falmer Stadium remember the last time we played in the Premier League that was March the 7 Tottenham Hotspur led by two goals to nil and they went ahead to obviously lose by three goals to two you understand now this time round they've gonna hit to do the opposite they've gonna hit obviously <clears throat> fall behind by one goal to nil and they've gonna hit obviously come up and really score four and that shows you that they're really in the mode to obviously put in the shift that everyone has been calling from them to obviously put out and obviously to it that all goes on well as planned so at this juncture spurs are really cruising and they've gonna hit obviously increase in the number of points they've gonna hit to collect and they are really having 13 points this time round then the seventh position and other teams are really playing and we never know how other teams are really going to be playing, but we are waiting to see how things really pan out in here onto this game of football. So, that is Spurs for you, and I think they've gone ahead obviously put in a required shift altogether, but as you know, other games have gone ahead obviously take on shape. But for um, the manager <coughs> of West Ham, Lepoto Gui, I think he's really having a very bad start of a season and this is where many West Ham fans will ask themselves that then why did you take off why did you really suck David Moyes because David Moyes was this kind of manager 
who could obviously play in a shambolic way but could obviously find you results you get he even won them their their first trophy you know in is it 50 years since they last won a trophy and they went ahead obviously suck him so i think you look through the decision that we're obviously going ahead to make and the decision was sorry the reason as to why they went ahead to obviously suck that player was all about him not putting in the required shift altogether in as far as playing sexy football is really concerned for us who have gone ahead to grow and see west ham play west ham has been a side that has been having a philosophy of that tiki taka uh possess that ball and obviously score those goals but david moyes came in and really put in a style that no one really came up with obviously give a very huge goal you understand so they sucked him for that but even le Portugui is not really playing that sexy football that is it he's not playing that sex football with the side of um, with the side of um with the side of west ham so that means they really did nothing i think they would have gone ahead to keep david moyes here all else look for a manager who could obviously put in that tiki taka into where they deserve to be so as things stand i tell you west ham are not really looking great because when you look at them and how the Premier League table is really looking, it's really very, very alarming for West Ham. Let me see where West Ham are and really tell you exactly how they're really... West Ham is having eight points, you get, in eight games, you get, and they're not really doing great. Um, they've gone ahead, obviously, win two games, drawn two and lost four, you know? So, it's not the best start of the season for this manager, <clears throat> but all in all... We know he can obviously turn this around and obviously create moments of threats that can obviously see his team really get to better ways. But Muhammad Kudus was red carded and I think that has been really a very huge blow for the side of Western because he's the man who has gone ahead obviously put in, I think, some little bit of performance in as far as lifting this team is really concerned. This season, Muhammad Kudus has gone ahead to obviously play eight games and he has two goals, you know. So, last season played 33 and scored eight games, eight goals and six assists. So, if he has been red carded today, that means it's a straight red card. They're going to be missing him out in the game of Manchester United. They're going to be playing on the weekend as the side of West Ham. Um, let me see which other game. Because there are three games that he's really going to be missing. He's going to be missing Manchester United. That is next sunday nottingham forest and everton and i think you wouldn't like to lose your best player in a game of this caliber right so i think they should obviously find a better um they should obviously find a better way to obviously operate without this guy and he's the only one he's one of a kind you cannot really find another player who is like him at west ham and this is where things obviously put this manager into a very very different situation altogether he really wanted to bring in players you know for west ham the likes of falkrook um he went ahead to bring in like three four players to debo came in through but i tell you what it never really boiled out as expected but i tell you any manager has no excuse after 10 games and you see it that managers are gonna big are gonna get hacked after 10 games because those first 10 games are really very important and they help you obviously find your team in shape and then the next two or three you'll find yourself sucked so my man of the match can i go for song hyun moon right but i think Ans, uh, Ange has gone ahead obviously get himself of that pressure because if he had gone ahead obviously lose that game things wouldn't have gone here to be flowing into his best way as a manager so your thoughts onto this beautiful game of football welcome in the comment section below about Tottenham Hotspur 4 Spa, sorry West Ham 1 a London derby that has been gone ahead to be that has gone ahead to be won by the side of uh Tottenham Hotspur and 
Richardson, some huge positive. I saw him really play a little bit into that game of football. And Song Hyun Myun returning with the bang because he's one of those players that missed out on the game of Manchester United. And I think he hasn't he has he wasn't gonna hit to be he wasn't fully fit when they played against Brighton. And he comes in through to put in a required shift all together. So that's my thought about that beautiful game of football. And I'm calling upon I'm calling upon for your reactions into the comment section below. We out, bye bye.